Hi, thank you for being here. Today I am going to talk about something a little offbeat. I wanted to list down a bunch of odd, interesting, unexpected things that happened to me when I was losing weight. You don't expect that these small changes will happen and that you will notice them and feel good about it. So that's what happened to me and I just wanted to share that with you. So yeah, we'll just get into it. The first one is my nail biting habit. All my friends and family know that I had this terrible nail biting habit. I would chew on my nails all the way down to the skin and chew up the skin as well. And I tried to fix it in many different ways back then. Like I would apply bright lacquer so I'm conscious of that bright color coming closer to my mouth when I put my fingers to my mouth. And I would also try like bitter tasting lacquer but none of those things worked in the long term. When I started losing Using the weight a few months into my journey I just happened to look down at my nails and I realized that I just stopped biting them I think that's so cool because I guess what they say then about nail biting is true that it's a nervous habit I would feel so unsettled and restless when I was heavy and of course I was struggling with severe anxiety you know, when I started actively working on those things I had just subconsciously stopped biting my nails this is so so absurd. My feet actually went down about half a foot size when I lost weight. I mean, of course, you're losing inches everywhere in your body pretty much, but you wouldn't imagine that that's going to happen with your feet, right? My foot size went down from between a 40 to a 41 to 40 just fitting me right. And sometimes 40 is also a little loose for me. So yeah, I think I can say that my foot size actually went down like one whole size, which is awesome because now I just find more shoes that fit me. I was in a plane recently and I realized something about my seatbelt. When I used to sit in a plane and buckle up my seatbelt, I would have to use the entire length of the seatbelt to strap myself in. But now, um, recently when I went onto a plane, I realized I just go take my seat and use just the default setting to buckle up. I don't need to adjust the straps, nor do I need the full length of the seatbelt. Next one is so interesting to me. When I was bigger, I would never feel cold. I enjoyed cold temperatures, anything around 15 degrees was not a problem. A hill station in a colder place if I'm traveling, I was so okay to just wear pants and a t-shirt. Wearing winter clothes like a sweater was never really my thing. But now I feel cold all the time. The temperature just has to drop below 20 degrees and I will reach for a sweater or I'll be shivering or look out for like a hot beverage or something. You never expect these things to happen when you're losing weight. These things also make the journey a little more interesting, you know? Okay. This one I'm actually not really too happy about. So when I started to lose weight, the first thing to go was my chest. Yeah, I went down from a chest size of 48 down to 34. That's what, 14 inches? I thought that the first place I would see the inches go is my tummy because of course that was my biggest problem area in my mind. But nope. when I started to lose weight, my chest signed up as tribute and they just exited the building. Okay, I don't think anyone who knows me is going to agree with this next one, but I truly believe that this is a massive change. My voice, I feel like, has gotten a lot more, uh, not baritone, but a lot like more deeper. When I was bigger, I feel like my voice was kind of more like up there and more squeaky. No, but now I feel more gutted. Back then I felt like I was talking from my throat, but now I feel like I'm talking from my stomach. I don't know if that makes sense. Does that make sense? Okay, but yeah, that's definitely a change that I've noticed. I want to see if I can find some video recordings of me from back then and play it and see if there's actually like a change in my voice. Facebook facial recognition, you know that feature, right? So Facebook is going to identify your face and ask to tag you. So I post some of my before and after pictures on Facebook. Facebook will identify my now leaner face and tag it as Brinda and put a box around my before slightly bigger face and ask who is this. That is just to me the coolest freaking thing because Facebook is also recognizing my newer face and is wondering who the one in the before picture is. I don't know. I just thought that was nice. <laughs> People now are really really interested in observing me eat. Of course when I go out that is my day to cheat. I'm going to order whatever I want. I'm going to drink whatever I want. But I'll always notice my friends looking at me and they'll be like, are you sure you want to eat that? Is that a part of your diet? Isn't that too many carbs? And I'm like, bro, 
Can I live? Thank you. When I go out, I'm gonna go all out because I earned it, all right? When I was starting off, I was about 242 pounds. I used to look at people who looked like they weighed 200 pounds, 180 pounds, and I'd be like, damn, if I could get to that size, I think I would have accomplished a lot. And now, at 152 pounds, people who I used to sort of look up to as like a benchmark come up to me and ask me for advice. You know, that's great, but also people tend to think I have all the answers because I lost the weight. Even on Instagram, girls message me and they'll ask me, you know, what is the effect of gymming on the uterus? Can you recommend a diet for PCOS? Those are things that your doctor will tell you and I can't tell you. So I won't really have all the answers. Of course, I can give you general guidelines on how to eat, how to work out. I'm knowledgeable about wellness, but I really don't have all of these clinical answers. But I'm of course like very honored that people come up to me and ask me these questions. Just not gonna try and attempt to answer them because I'll be in trouble. Yeah. This last one, I have to, you know, sign off with a little bit of a philosophical uh, piece about weight loss. I talk so much about this whole fitness thing, right? But what I've realized is that weight loss will not answer, weight loss will not make you lastingly happy. Having just a physically good body does not solve all your problems. So being healthy definitely contributes to your overall well-being. But happiness is independent of having like a great physique. Happiness sits in your core, lies in developing yourself and in your relationships and loyalty to the people that you love. I have experienced that happiness in pockets even when I was bigger and right now. And of course, like I'm a work in progress, but unless you actively work on your mental health alongside your fitness you will find that you're neither here nor there so both go hand in hand and you're always going to keep learning so this is just a reminder not to compare yourself with anyone else because it might seem like they have it all just because they look a certain way but believe me that is not true thank you for being here in my next video hopefully we will switch back into more serious topics i thought this was just like a light fun one i kind of just wanted to test like my lighting and background yeah uh stay tuned please subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one bye